In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate taking an existing iWeb site and extracting the main text and graphic contents into a new sandbox document. I'll paste in the URL for a simple iWeb example website. As you can see, this iWeb site contains several pages, and each page has some text and some graphics. Note that there's a blog page with a couple of entries in it. I'm hiding Safari to get it out of the way, and now I'll launch Sandvox. Notice this section on the welcome window that helps people with an existing iWeb site. I'll click on the Extract button now. A sheet comes down that lets people enter the URL of the website they want to extract. It's automatically showing the frontmost URL from Safari. There's a little bit of information to help people understand what the process is, and there's an animated preview of the extraction function. I click the Extract button and there's the window showing the progress as it loads in the pages from the website. And there's the new Sandvox document it created, one page for every page that the extractor found from the original iWeb site. Here's the blog, and I'm going to need to do a little bit of extra work to get it whipped into shape so that everything is stored properly. Sandvox imported the blog entries, but it also imported some extra information that we don't really need. First, I'll delete the blog archive. We don't need that. And on the blog collection page, I'll delete these two extra photos. Since I want the blog collection to index the contents of the blog pages, I'm going to create a new index here called Titles and Summaries. Next, I'll use the inspector to change what gets displayed. In this case, I want to see the title and the contents of each blog entry. With the starting place that we have from the extraction, I'm going to now do some editing on the website to make it more appropriate for the restaurant website that I want it to be. I'll click on the Designs toolbar icon to bring up the Design Chooser where I can choose a new look for the website. For this site, brown and green is probably the best choice, and notice how I've changed the design for every page on the website. Now I'll use the inspector and bring in a nice banner graphic. I'll choose the file here. Since the graphic says Renee's place on it, I can hide the site title and I'll also hide the tagline. The last thing I'll do for this demo is to add a new object into the sidebar area that will be shared across multiple pages on the website. There are many objects to choose from, but in this case I'm adding a text object. I'll copy the text out of a pages document and then paste it into this area. And I'll give this a better title. That concludes this demonstration. I hope that this has given you a good sense of what it's like to extract the contents of an iWeb site into a new sandbox document as a starting point for creating a new and even better website. Thanks for watching.